My name is Bruce Kornfeld, and I am the Chief Marketing and Product Officer at Store Magic. And we're excited to be back for another year of predictions with VM Blog. And I would say there's two that come to mind for me to talk about today. One of them is the death of the spinning hard drive. Uh, and the second one is that this is the year that IoT will really, really take off. So first off, spinning hard drives, been, been around since the beginning of time, uh, or the beginning of electronic time, I guess. And they're still out there and customers still use them and there's still good use cases for them. But I'll tell you what, nowadays we see more and more customers moving away from spinning into all flash configurations. Now, our, our view of the world is the edge small data centers and edge where really two terabytes, six terabytes, 20-ish, that's what we're looking at. And there's really no point in risking the failure rates of spinning drives when for just a little bit more money, you can get the performance and longevity and higher reliability of flash. So we're seeing a lot more movement to all flash configurations at the edge. And the second one is around IoT. Uh, it's been talked about for many years. Edge computing is the broad, the broad spectrum, but within edge computing, one of the key use cases is IoT, Internet of Things, meaning devices and sensors all being managed and all this data coming to the edge and being processed and analyzed. It's still early days. It is early days, but we see a lot of customers that have been testing these environments and doing proof of concepts and really getting their application and management situation figured out. And now they're getting ready to deploy in mass production. So we've been playing in this space. We have some customers that are doing it, but we're really starting to see some of the bigger ones that are just now ready to say, okay, proof of concept went well, now's the time to really deploy and, and go for it. So I would say 2021 is the year where IoT really starts to accelerate and take off. Hi, I'm Andrew Howard. I'm the CEO of Kodelsky Security. My primary concern for 2021 is the expanding security landscape that our clients must protect. It seems like every day that our clients are asked to take on more and more responsibilities. The CISO has to wear a lot of new hats these days. Today, it's no longer just about protecting the traditional IT network. There's an increasing need to expand security controls beyond the enterprise network to all manners of connected devices, from printers to IoT devices to operational technologies, such as programmable logic controllers, PLCs, or production sensors. Uh, just this past week, one client told me the elevators are now in scope. We expect there to be an increasing amount of focus from our clients on monitoring these non-traditional environments, and we've enhanced our managed security offerings to meet their needs. You can't protect what you can't monitor, um, and over the next five years, this is the cybersecurity battleground. Another major focus for us is the expanding Microsoft's footprint inside most of our clients' networks. As clients adopt more and more of the Microsoft ecosystem, they need help. Additionally, Microsoft's strong push towards their E5 licensing model really brings in a lot of new security tooling inside the client's ecosystem and forces them to rethink about their security approach. We're working with clients to rationalize their security needs in a partnership with Microsoft and are building new managed security offerings to ensure that they maximize their security posture inside this new Microsoft ecosystem without incurring the unnecessary excessive costs. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Dilip Advani and I lead the marketing and customer success team at Wheela. Our goal at Wheela is to enable IT teams with our full stack monitoring solution to prevent any unplanned downtime for their business critical applications for data center and cloud deployments. I think we are all aware how most businesses have been disrupted in unprecedented ways in 2020. And uh, now 2021 will call for a bounce back using different approaches and it's going to be all about improving our efficiencies. Our prediction for 2021 is that most organizations will see key IT investments and acceleration of digital initiatives uh, around the remote workforce, or you can even call it the work from anywhere uh, workforce, right? With VDI and cyber threat monitoring and protection of the remote worker leading the pack. With uh, almost 50% of the workforce expected to work from home moving forward, being able to ensure the best and uh, most secure experience will be key. 
And to do that, even though it sounds as simple as rolling our desktops and making sure it works right, IT teams will need a 360 degree view into the deployment from end to end, all the way from the thin client to the supporting VDI infrastructure, and then all the way to the application servers as bottlenecks could occur anywhere in this dependency chain. Uh, this actually starts all the way from the logon experience uh, to the application response time of the application across that VDI infrastructure. And it will be important to know if the problem is due to the underlying infrastructure, uh, is it the remote workers local network, or is it the application itself? Uh, the IT team's responsibility in 2020 and obviously moving into 2021, right? Their responsibility boundary now expands much beyond the typical in-house, right? Within the organization or within the office environment. And now they also have to make sure everything works in the employees uh, environment uh, at their home, right? So uh, IT teams that will fail to gain insights into their environment and have the ability of pinpointing the root cause of the outage or a slowdown um, do risk a significant impact to the employee productivity, which uh, will have a direct impact on the revenue and reputation of the organization. Uh, thank you, everyone. And then for, uh, to learn more about Wheela, you can visit www.wheela.com. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jared Buschelt. I'm the Chief Information Security Officer for LogMeIn, makers of LastPass. Today, we wanted to talk about a couple of predictions of things that may come true in 2021. First of all, just want to uh, make sure that we really revisit identity as the new security perimeter. The demise of the uh, firewall as a perimeter has been a long time coming. And with the current situation and with everybody working remotely, it is really gone. The firewall really does not have any significant impact on day-to-day -day operations anymore. And single sign-on, proper password management, multi-factor authentication, and the entire identity governance around employees' uh, li uh, life cycle are really the key element that allows us to properly protect an enterprise and the resources that we have. So the uh, critical uh, prediction here is like, we're, we're finally here. Uh, identity is now the new security perimeter. And it's like, if you don't have security, uh, your identity management fully under control, now is the time to catch up and make sure that you uh, can go uh, into, into the future with a sound strategy. What we also see is that much more organizations are going passwordless. What does that mean? It's like, it's really a passwordless experience that is important for users. At the end of the day, nobody wants to type in a lot of uh, uh, long character passwords. Uh, that are sometimes extremely hard to remember, have many uh, characters and are easily forgotten. So the key element here is really to go in and make sure that we uh, make it as easy as possible on users. And that employs a number of different techniques. Password managers are obviously a solution to minimize the amount of passwords. Single sign-on in order to just limit the amount of uh, account credentials that you need to manage are another solution. Biometric measures to authenticate yourself to your device for unlocking password managers or, or multi-factor authentication tokens are also a key element in order to make the experience and the ceremony of login in much more smooth and seamless for users. The underlying mechanisms will change, but the user experience overall will get easier and easier. One of the things we've really seen throughout the crisis with its lockdowns and everybody working from remote is that strong security culture is absolutely critical for a company's survival. In order to really thwart off uh, the uh, various kind of threats that we're facing today in the form of uh, mass ransomware, mass phishing, and, and the like, we really need to go in and re-emphasize uh, and retrain our uh, pop employee population, contractors, and everybody who's really involved, including the home, in order to be able to stay secure. So the, the, the drive towards security awareness and training uh, across organizations and beyond is definitely something that we're going to see as well. And then finally, what we've also seen during the last couple of months is that the threat actors are not sleeping. They're not necessarily coming up with completely new ideas, but they're be they getting much better in automating, increasing the speed, increasing uh, uh, the velocity of uh, their, their attacks. And as such, we as defenders have to do the same. The so automation to, uh, uh, to common threats is really a key and critical element in a strategy going forward. 
Thank you. Hi, my name is Chandrasekhar LSP. I am a Zoho evangelist, and I'm here today to talk to you about our 2021 predictions for business intelligence. So what are we gonna see in 2021? My top three predictions. The first one is around conversational capability. Today, business users can interact with BI platforms using natural language. A question is asked in plain English and the response from the BI tool is in the form of a nice looking chart or a graph. 2021 will see some interesting developments as far as conversational capabilities go. From just generating a graph or a chart, a BI tool will also be able to infer what's happening within a graph or a chart, thereby allowing non-technical users to be more data driven. My second prediction is around automated data preparation or augmented data preparation capability. AI and ML will fuel BI platforms with better automation capabilities as far as data preparation goes. From suggesting transformations to discovering relationship between data points, BI platforms will have the ability to connect data from different sources such as a sales application, a marketing application, and a finance application and help business users to get a 360 degree view of their business. My third prediction is around embedded BI. Today, business users have to jump between the business application that they use and a BI platform to get the insights that they need. Clearly, this lag is not something business users really appreciate. So we will see a lot more business app vendors embedding critical analytical capabilities to help business users get to insights in real time and in the context of the business application that they're in. So that's all folks, have a great 2021. Thank you.